Hey everybody, it's the Redstone Wizard here again, bringing you another Redstone tutorial. This time, what I got for you is the add-ons and a few uh, fixes for some issues that I have uh, saw and ended up uh, solving. So, first off, let's take a look at uh, one the uh, issues. So, first off, this is just the entire new... Uh, this one I just set up so that... Just to show that we can have chests like this if you want. And pretty much the issue with that is this. So, And if you're going to use it, you need to have something that will redirect redstone like this right here. Now, in the other ones, we have this with the old, with, uh, with pretty much this system here. It's not necessary for these parts. All you need is a solid block afterwards with a comparator and observer pointing down and that will fix that and the other thing is here we need to make a block gap between the non-stackable check uh, for the uh, overflow and that is because this will constantly pulse while items are constantly trying to go in here I had to make that change because, unlike on Java, this comparator reads everything that uh, this hopper would have pulled out and constantly pulse without it going. So, let's just take a look at the uh, additions that we're going to be able to put into this thing, just so that you guys will have a nice idea of what's going on. Now, those are, that's really the only bug fixes. So, first off... What we have here is a shulker, unloader, checker, and overflow, and uh, system protection. All in one. This is your input, basically. So what you do is you take in here, you place all whatever items you want, and they will filter out, go into an item elevator, which then will activate into a Shulker box checker. This checker is of my own design because of the previous ones I was using weren't working as well and items were ending up in here. And if TNT ended up in here, the system will blow up. We don't want that. So I was I found a more reliable form. And all the empty boxes will go in here. And the rest of the items will go there. And if they get, once they get unloaded, they will go back through here. Now, there's some changes you can do. This is, uh, this was designed based around the one that I have for six high. So you can adjust this a little bit and according to what you need to be able to, uh, for it to work. Now, this right here comes in two forms. We have the one where items can be placed inside of the chest here. And still get loaded into this shelter box. And then go into the overflow. Into the non-stackable. Or, if this lamp is on, items will go in here and get loaded into the shelter boxes. And then, after they're done, get put into here. Yeah. <laughs> and it has indicators and a toggle. So, you can say, ah, now th this time I want to... Uh, all the items to just go right into the bulk chest. And this one has to use a shulker box unload, a uh, shulker box checker for it. So that right there is a uh, unique for that. Then we just have a standard item filter. This one has the attachment that this is literally just to show you guys that it's possible to have it set up. But this one's set up for the attachment to be able to have for if overflow items items that are security reasons need to just be gotten rid of if they ever enter in the system so and all you do it's just the standard sorter that's all it is so i'm not going to do a tutorial on this i'm not going to put a tutorial but this is something that you would add in after your unloader but before the categorizer and then we have this one which is pretty much the same as that one except uh, you can only throw empty shulker boxes in here. But other than that, it's the same. It's the exact same thing, just empty shulker boxes only. So, 
And as I said, we can, oh, we just have, I just, I did do a quick build up. We have our items here that are quite common. Maybe not the iron, unless you're me. Where you're constantly stockpiling iron. But cobblestone, stone, cobble, deep slate, nether rock, iron. Yeah, it's just the standard item filter. Nothing uh, obscene about it. And then with the little bug fix. So let me get the stuff together and we will and I'll show you guys how to build it. So what do you say guys? Let's get to building this thing. Alright everybody, we're back. And like always, I've got this stuff in the shulker boxes. Now this is a completely variable style build, which means you can set it up however you want. But and it could be increased a bit. It could be increased quite a bit, actually, but not really decreased that much. And that's just based around oh, certain things. And you can add a few more extra things. I might come up with a few things that we might just put in just because we can. So, all right. So we're going to start out with our unloader, our input chat, our input system for this entire thing. So, and this is not exact, or, uh, this is more of a, what I have over there, so some things can change, so bear with me on that, but roughly you're going to need about 18 solid blocks, 10 pieces of redstone dust, 11 repeaters, 5 sticky pistons, 3 redstone blocks, 24 hoppers, 14 chests, and yes, this, this number can change. 17 observers that can change eight nine, 19 droppers one dispenser two torches one piston one maybe two barrels at but guaranteed one barrel <clears throat> eight comparators two blocks uh, two container blocks that you can adjust the redstone one of them could be a cauldron if you want but i'm just using a composter because it's so much easier for this and 13 pieces of glass so let's take everything, and I forgot, one shulker box. Now, let's break that. Now, what we're going to do is take our chest. Now, based around where you want your store uh, input, you can have it, well, pretty much anywhere, but the least amount of space needed between the, them is two blocks, and that's just to prevent redstone from interacting with others. So two blocks... And if you do, if you want a wall here, so it'll be two blocks from this point right here. So it'll be right here, in this line right here. So, but you can have it way over there and process things over here. <laughs> it's strictly up to you. So we're just going to set two double chests. This chest is your input chest. This chest is your empty box chest. And then we're just going to come up here, and we're just going to add a few, and we're going to add all the way until we are above our empty box chest. Then we're going to take our, make it, uh, take our dropper. We're going to place the dropper going back, uh, going towards the hopper. So we're, I've just added four extra hoppers. So, the gap, plus two. And then we're just going to take our box. And if you don't have shulker boxes at the moment of, of building this, you can place a barrel, you can place a chest. But this is, is a, uh, and you can hold off until you get shulker boxes. And once you get shulker boxes, then it becomes useful. And then we're just going to take a hopper going down and a hopper on the top. Put a temporary block there and a hopper going into the temporary block. You can break those. This hopper has to be in another direction. It cannot be pointing down. I recommend pointing towards the center or to the edges. But then we're going to take our chests. We're going to put a double chest here. And a double chest here. Hopper going into there. 
And we're just going to leave it there for now. Now we're going to grab our observers. And I'm going to use a dropper for this. We're going to put it one block gap. Put an observer. And on the outside, not going towards the center of the build, but towards the outside, we are going to create a clock. Now the clock is just a simple one. And the whole point is to prevent certain, uh, prevent, uh, just to keep it pulsing as much as possible. How you ever you do it, it's fine. It will work. But I'm just using this one. This, I prefer this setup for this, not uh, for this, because it works out great. So now we've got that setup. This dropper does absolutely nothing other than powering this observer. So you don't have to have a dropper, you can have a trapped or a piston, something that when it is used, the observer can detect it. I'm using the dropper because it's small. Now, next to this chest and this hopper, we're going to place, I recommend glass for this, place comparators on subtract mode on them. And we'll grab a sticky piston, putting it down here. Grab your solid blocks. On the side of this dropper, we're going to be placing it. Now, when these get full, it's just going to hold them. It, it's, it can cause some issues with a massive backlog. And you try and put other things in. But it... Hopefully you don't have to deal with it as much. Hopefully this system runs perfectly every single time. Now we're going to put comparators going in. We're going to grab our containers. We're going to put them right behind the comparators. And we are going to add... I'm, let me grab my cake because cakes have a 100% increase rate. We're going to make this one have a signal strength of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this one a signal strength of 2. Then we are going to take a solid block, place it there, place one there, and we're going to put a whatever block you want there. Grab a repeater. Put it, on, put it right there on Vortex with a piece of dust right here. Next is we're going to come over here above this, uh, above the input chest. We're going to just line up. We're going to grab our dispenser. And we're going to place it going at a corner from there with a hopper going into it. Temporary block, going at an angle, we need to make sure there's a one block gap, a hopper going into a barrel, one block gap, and then we can just take, and I'm just going to put a double chest there, and just so that I have a, so I can have a massive <laughs> item backlog, I'm just going to put a double chest there and the whole point behind this is to get the items unloaded from the boxes next step is we're going to grab an observer we're going to, i'm just going to place the observers where we need to place them observer there uh actually this chest can't be there so we will have to put it in there and boom and but you can put a barrel here if you want. But then you have to fight it. It could get confusing. So a observer there. Let me get some things lined up. With a block going down. Block and then and one over the chest. We're going to place an observer there. Place a Two tick repeater there, two tick repeater there, two tick repeater there. When this gets power, the observer detects it, powers this uh, repeater, which powers this on the block, which powers this on the block, 
which this repeater gets powered. And if this observer is up right here, we'll power this, powering the, uh, the barrel, which then will power this. It'll create a, it'll create a clock. But the clock is stopped because we have this piss, uh, the observer down. But we're going to place some all the block there, a block up, leaving a gap. You can fill this gap if you want, but it's not needed. A, ooh, a, a comparator right there and right there. This is just my, this is the standard one that I use all the time. A piston there and an observer there with dust on it to power that. Now we're going to grab our sticky pistons next to this observer. We're going to put it down. We're going to place a temporary block there. Uh, sticky piston going down. A torch on top of that. And if you want, this is entirely up to you how you do this. But I prefer using a redstone block here. Because compactness. And stick a redstone block which will power this. So now... If we take and put in an observe, a, a shulker box in here, the shulker box will get dispensed and start getting unloaded. And when another shulker box comes in, it's going to break and fire off into this section. If you want to add more space, just add another chest, add more, whatever you want. And just for purposes of this is not necessary, I find it a lot easier to prevent them from moving too much just put a powder snow there so if i take this right here and throw it in it does handle empty boxes but one will always remain there so now what we're going to do is come right down into here right into there we're going to grab our so we're going to just put some temporary blocks just coming out here. Make sure that you are in line with this barrel right next to it. We'll grab our droppers. We can take out these. I need to keep that one there. And we'll just pillar up with the droppers. None of these... None of the redstone interacts with any of the other redstone. And you could get it all the way up here. Double chest. Hopper. Hopper there. Hopper line. But you need to make sure that you have a buffer right there. So, because I don't, because I like it like this, this is how I want it. That's how I'm going to do it. Next is we're going to grab our observer, and again, this is how I like do, uh, checking for my observers. We're going to place a an observer reading off a dropper with a comparator and a solid block here, solid block up. These two do not have to be solid. Repeater, dust, dust. Now, based around certain, uh, some factors, you might need to throw a torch here and create a torch burnout, which will actually consistently get the items all the way to the top in addition to it, but you might not need to. But we're just going to pillar all the way up with... all the way up until we're in line with here, just so that we can, and... Just every other one, we're just going to place, break, place, break. Now get your uh, last, uh, get your repeaters. These repeaters go here facing this direction. Now you could put dust here if you want, or if you just want to keep it solid, which is what I like doing. Last uh, redstone dust activation. You uh, any of they have to be a block that the observer can read and the the repeater can power, get power from. So I use droppers, consistency purposes. 
And there's that. Now we're going to take our hoppers again, come to the side here, and then all the way underneath, all the way to our input chest. Now, as you can see, if I can learn how to fly, as you can see, everything is fairly compact. And we still have to protect things, which is what those are. So, I'm going to take my redstone block, place it here, take a solid block, go down three blocks, break those, put a piece of dust on top of that, grab my sticky piston again, with a redstone block on top of that, and I am going to go under here. Place, a, uh, place any block, doesn't matter, because we're going to put a torch on the side of the block that has the hopper. Now, for this hopper, one, two, three, we need to place a sticky piston going towards the, uh, towards the torch with a block on it. This will stop it whenever the system says, hey, we're good here. So... We need to power this. So if we just set a, set this like go oh, this, and then just run dust. You can run a target block. You can put a target block here. You can put a solid block a repeater, but whenever the system says we're good here, it's going to lock the hopper. This texture pack is amazing for testing things like this. See if you got specific ones getting locked or not. And there we go. And that is our loading system. This is our input system for this uh, for the storage. So if I take this empty box, throw it in here, and we just keep an eye out at the other one. First thing is it's going to pulse. It's going to go boom, boom. And there we go. Now we are now we got an empty box here. And decorate it as you see fit. Everything uh, you'll oh, with this setup I have a block I have a four block gap. So and you could drop it down more. You could drop this down more if you want. You'll have to increase the height of the item elevator, but you could drop it down more if you want. So that was the input. Now we got the other part of the add-on to do, and just let me get everything cleared up, and we'll get it ready to go. Okay, guys, we're back, and we've got this set up ready. This has already been built. We have our one-block gap for protection reasons. For this, we're going to need 27 droppers. And yes, this is adjustable according to what you need. So just understand that some parts might seem a little odd, but it is adjustable. 27 droppers, 12 pieces of glass or non-solid blocks, 18 pieces of dust, one target block, 27 solid blocks, 30 observers, 6 barrels, 22 chests, 7 sticky pistons, 1 wall, Three regular pistons, 37 hoppers, five non-sticky movable blocks. So glazed terracotta, which would be the only one. You might also be able to get away with some uh, other ones. I just prefer keeping it fairly cheap. Glazed terracotta can be cheap, and it's movable, and you don't get it mixed. A couple of trap doors, a couple of cauldrons. Uh, I recommend uh, thing, uh, things that will produce a signal strength of one, and I always use cauldrons with signal strength of one. Three redstone lamps. Uh, yeah, three redstone lamps. No, actually, you need two redstone lamps. One, uh, four redstone blocks, one dispenser, four sticky, uh, four slime blocks or honey blocks. Five scaffolding, two redstone torches, fourteen repeaters, eleven. Comparators, one, uh, two buns, and a bucket of powdered snow. So we're going to grab all of this. And, and also, 
one shulker box because we're going to need to load it up. So if you have this one built, what you need to do, there's a couple of things you need to do. For one, we need to redirect these two. We need to redirect them into here. There. That's it. <laughs> so take the barrel out, redirect that that way, redirect that way. We're good. Then, this, this one up here, we need to put a double chest where it's overhanging the comparator there. This is just showing that items are now processing through this slice. And you could actually have items process through that slice without even worrying about it affecting any of the system. So now we got that set up. Here we are going to skip a block, place hoppers there, go down, skip a block, place two hoppers. So we got a hopper there, two hoppers there. And our hopper lines there. We are going to grab our not uh, this one doesn't matter what it is off of right here, right below this hopper, in line with this uh, uh, with the comparators here, the block that those are on, and we'll throw a torch. Grab a comparator. On the other side, going into that block, we're going to place a comparator, a sticky piston on the hopper right behind it with our container block. And I just always recommend using something that will not pull any items out. And just give it a signal. Now, what this is doing is allowing items to just go straight into the storage. We're not sending it to boxes but we need to send things into boxes. So what we're going to do is place a piece of powdered snow there, a sticky piston on the top of the, uh, next to that one on the same side, a sticky block with a non, uh, with a non-movable, uh, with a movable non-sticky block, two more blocks, and let me, let me get my observers. So then we're going to place a, an observer going into the sticky piston. One coming down. And we need to place any non-sticky block there. It doesn't matter what it is. Grab our comparators. Place one there. A redstone block there. And a dust on the uh, observer and the redstone block. Now, what this is going to do is when the contents of this shulker box that sits right here reach 15, this is going to get powered at signal strength 15. And because of that, it's going to activate our system where we are using a trapdoor right here, which will push these up allowing them to process. On top of this dust, we're going to place two observers with a dispenser facing down. Don't worry, we are going to fix this right here. Then we're going to place a solid block here, and a solid block there, and a solid block there. So we got a weird looking shape here. We're going to place an observer here, and an observer here. Grab our pistons. And we'll place a piston there. And a piston there. Now, let me... Oh, well, actually, we might not need those. But let's grab... Let's uh, do a quick uh, little test. Because I feel like doing this. You might need, but you might, you might do this. Actually, any block there? Okay, so we'll check this out. Comparator. 
And then let me grab my hopper. Okay, so now let's try this out. We'll throw a that gets dispensed. And let's throw a few more in there. All right, well, that and now nice thing is you still access it. So, yeah, two things like that, and it will not force it, will keep it down. And then all it is is these items get filled up. So, then it's a slight change. This has this is any block you want, and two gravity affected solid blocks. Sand, gravel, concrete works. Now, for the purposes of making sure it doesn't break, let's just surround that in glass. I've had it where the shulker box just falls right here. And it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so, we will grab our solid block again. We'll throw it right there. And right there. We'll grab a piston next to this hopper, place it there, dust there, with a comparator out on that. Grab yourself a redstone block, put it there, grab your droppers. We are just setting up for the entire system, and we will temporarily place them from there, and right there. Grab your observer. We're just going to temporarily uh, place a block there, pointing towards the droppers. Now what this does is, based around where this comparator is, if we power this, it's just go this is going to create a T flip-flop. And that's all it does is creates a T flip flop. So grab a transparent block, place it there, place a comparator. Actually, no, we need an observer right there with a comparator on subtract mode, a transparent block, dust, grab yourself a barrel, place the barrel there, a Comparator, and this is the advantage to the cauldrons. We're going to place a cauldron there, and grab a single wall. Uh, grab one thing of water, fill it. Now that's set there. Now this is where it can get confusing because we are now going to place a chest here. This is our box chest input. A solid block underneath there. A sticky piston directly underneath that with an observer there. A solid block there. And a solid block at the corner. Grab your trap and your other trap door. Place it on that solid block. And grab your scaffolding. Placing it so that it all ends up looking like this. Place a piece of dust here, and a solid block there with the with a button on it. On this one, we're going to place a button, and then we are going to grab our rest of lamps, place it right there, and we can actually use this lamp, uh, this piece of glass right here. Put a solid block in line with the dispenser, a Redstone lamp underneath it. Grab your button. Uh, grab your comparator. And pull the signal out of that, and that just lets you know that we have a signal coming in there. Now, this is the part where it can get a little confusing because we're going to be pulling signal from here, and so we're going to grab. And place a solid block here. 
But in fact, actually, before we create the item elevator, let's actually finish up our selector switch. And we'll go put a piece of glass in there. And in here, I'm just going to place a repeater, leaving it on default, there. Now, here, we're going to have to grab another sticky piston. Next to it, we're going to place a sticky piston going towards the back. And in here, we're going to place an observer. So, if we ever hit this button here, it's going to break and give us another box. I'm just going to throw this in there just so that we can, once we connect it, it'll fully process. So now we got that set. And it looks perfectly good and running. So next step is leaving a block gap with a going down. We're going to take a piece of dust. We're going to place it right here. We're going to grab our uh, grab the uh, regular piston. Throw it right here. This piston's purpose is to switch it. So if we hit this button here, this lamp signifies that everything's getting loaded in boxes. Hit the button. Everything is loaded directly in. And it is this circuit right here, the small little circuit. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to send all of the stuff into here. So, now if you don't now if you're not using the advanced one, the one where you could throw non-stackables in here and end up in its own boxes, you could not you don't have to do this. All you have to do is put an item elevator right here leading up into here. And I do recommend setting it up. But first let's, let's start it with our item elevator right here. And we are going to go, you can go all the way up to, uh, to there. Double chest. Oh. And you're done with that one. Just item elevator it up. But we're not doing that one. We're doing a more the more advanced one. So we need to go above further than that. So grab yourself a hopper. Or we're going to put a hopper right in there. And grab yourself a chest. We're just going to throw the chest right there. And in fact, actually, we're going to throw a hopper into the chest, into the hopper. And then all I have to do is just take and run a, sit, a hopper under there, and then items will be loaded into here. Uh, let's see here. In fact, actually, let's uh, take this out and uh, put it with a solid block, uh, with a glass block. And a hopper into a double chest. And then we can throw a double chest there. And then a hopper. Now, you can't put a chest or hopper here or here. And we need to pull and say, hey, this thing, we don't need any more boxes. We're going to, uh, we're doing a box storage here. So we're going to take our torch. We're going to place it right here. We're going to place a solid block right there. We're going to take and put a, and we could just do this right here temporarily. Put a solid block there. And then let's grab and then let's actually we could uh i'm partially planning this in my head right now let's just increase the height on this hopper in fact actually we don't need those right there actually this one we do need right there but we don't need that there can throw a hopper there and a hopper there. Grab a repeater off of this block. 
and throw a solid block there. Hopper going down. This hopper doesn't matter because it's just, if it gets locked, it gets locked. But we're going to throw a hopper going into this direction with a container. Usually I like using barrels for this because they're so much nicer for this. But if you're using the advanced setup, we're just going to put a double chest here, double hopper, hopper going there, hopper going down, and then we're going to add a, a box checker here. So let me grab up another box, throw it there, fill that in, keep the uh, keep them from falling down, and. We need to make sure that when we do our box check, that we go and put in the boxes from a different, uh, from like, uh, from this angle. In fact, you could actually even add one more and a uh, double chest there. That will keep it nice and neat. But we need to power that alone <laughs> and because of where it's sitting i don't like having that i don't like having it set right there that's too close if you ask me so let's just uh, bust it out a bit let's uh take this and throw it here and then we can throw this here with a hopper a hopper going to the side of that which is fine a double chest here and a double chest here a double chest uh, uh, single you can actually use a yeah. single chest here but because of how we're having this, where we're moving it to, we do not want it to coincide, uh, to mass around with each other. So I'm just setting it up like that. I'll throw my shulker box there, my dropper there, dropper going down, the dropper going back to the side up double chest because i because i can and a hopper going into it there we go that works that fills out that entire section and will allow items to process through now we're going to take and get creative here and throw a observer there which will power and then Just our standard item, our clock. None of these will get uh, none of the hoppers will be locked that are uh, next to the dust. So we don't have to worry about it. And these items will continue to process. And all the items that are extra will be going into the chest down here. So... All we have to do now is create our item elevator. And again, I'm using the dropper method because I like it. I'm going all the way up to where it is linked with there. And then I just, this is how I do it. You don't have to do it this way. This is up to you how you make your item elevator. I just find that this design works out really well in this compact scenario. Okay, so. And that is absolutely perfectly placed because then we could just throw our droppers. And none of them are linking with the repeaters. 
that none of them will be touching any of the hoppers. If there's a hopper, it's getting it's right next to an observer. So it's all about the placement. So next is our comparator. Yeah, you might have to take and run the... This one I do recommend using the torch method here. Because it does increase the rate. It does increase it from... It does increase the chances that you're not going to end up messing up and getting uh, something stuck in. <laughs> It forces it. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're going to take a target block. R1, target block. We're just going to place it right here. Two dust. We'll throw a solid block right there. Another thing there. Going up. And a redstone block. Right here, or right there, it doesn't matter, based around how much dust you want to use. Me, I want to run it on top. And now, we have this hopper locked, which will prevent any boxes when this is full from going in. So, what we need to do next is grab a sticky piston. Place it right there, with a redstone block on its face. A solid block there. Uh, we'll place another one there. And that will extend it. We'll place a solid block, cutting off the dust. And add in two, uh, two slime blocks. And yes, you can expand this down. Add more slime blocks to keep it going. And then we're good to go. So now we have our all of our controls. So if I just take a hopper just so that I can just do it this way and let me get my boxes and I'm just gonna start throwing a bunch in there and I haven't even set that last hopper up okay so now we got that thrown in there nothing's processing so let's get our last hopper hit hopper now items are going to be going up Everything is checking. It's making sure that they go where they're supposed to. And we're starting to get uh, starting to get them in. And now we're getting them all in here. And when this is done processing, which it looks like it is, we should have at least two in the barrel. No, I mean two in the hopper. Two in the hopper, and that's and then nine in there. And it's all ready to holding, going, processing. So now, if I just, if I want to, just, let's say take that box out. I break it, boom, box gets collected, sit here. All right, now, I need to collect the box again. Boom. Activate, and then it sends at least one up into the system. And this is if uh, items are still processing. It'll guarantee to keep one in the system here. If none's in the hopper, then it's not going to process. And then all we have to do is take these empty boxes. Boom. Throw them in. And we can throw our non-stackable in there while we're at it. And the non-stackable will process through here, get loaded into our box here, and there we go. And just for purposes, just because I can, I don't want to throw the, you don't have to have them there. Everything is solid in there. And it is, uh, so, yeah, so that's what that is. So. And then all it is is uh, decorate it however you want. Make sure that you have a something here that just so that the chest can still open up. If you want to, you can actually run this 
into here. And when this section gets blocked off, you can actually power to stop it here because if you have your wall here, there are so many different options you could use for it. And there is no right or wrong answer on what you can do. If you want to, you can. But yeah, there we go. Now we've got ourselves a fairly compact, well, at least when it comes to the entrance. <laughs> very, in fact, actually, it is pretty compact storage system with all the bells and whistles. Now, I'm going to be putting uh, this in the uh, world download section on my Discord. So if you want to take a look at it, hop into there, take a look. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment section. Or if it's a major issue, I recommend joining my uh, uh, joining my Discord, where I can where I'm fairly regularly active on. Uh, special thanks to uh, the Judge Man for supporting me on Patreon. And if you want to support me, you can actually subscribe to my channel, you guys. But this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building.